Worms in your guts can even steal your food. In Victorian times, some people would eat tapeworms on purpose to keep oh, themselves oh, Darren, thin. Darren, oh, of course, Darren, one Darren, no more worms talk, it's too gross. Can we please talk about the video game worms now? Oh, affirmative. Right. Well, developer Team 17 have been making worms games since the 90s, and for the most part, they've been pretty fun, even though the formula has stayed pretty much the same. Yeah, a few of them have been made into 3D, and now two of them have been combined to form Worms Ultimate Mayhem. Uh, Darren, could you tell us more things a little bit about how worms works? Affirmative. The objective is to take it in turns to obliterate your opposition's worms with the sort of weaponry. Falling in water means instant death, and if you get hurt your turn, you have to miss it. There are a variety of weapons in the game, with most relying on trajectory and power to hit your targets. Thank you, Darren. You know, I've always struggled with the Worms games when they're in 3D, because there's just so many more angles to shoot from. And I struggled with this one too, because that camera pivots on your worm, and the camera isn't really close enough to the worm, and you just can't see everything, so trying to aim a rocket launcher or a grenade is really tough in that view. But dynamite and that sort of thing, that's okay, because you just walk along and then plot it next to an enemy and run away. Yes, to fire most weapons, you're going to have to go into the first person view. You can't move in this perspective, which is a shame because moving around in third person is fiddly and often your worm doesn't go where you want it to. More than once I backflipped into the water. Me too. <clears throat> Me three. There's a lot of timing involved in this game. You'll need to time your jump and double jump just perfectly. But there's also a time limit, which makes things quite intense. Even in the first person view though, Bajo, I found it hard judging power. In the 2D worm games, you can do a bit of trial and error and really work at your timing. But here I found it was a bit random. I was unimpressed with the artificial intelligence. Most games start off easy and then get more challenging, but the computer-controlled worms were often terrible at attacking, and they never seemed to improve as you progress. Maybe next time. There is a decent variety of weapons, though. All the classics are there. Baseball bats, which are used for knocking people into the water, along with the fire punch. There's also dynamite, shotguns, bazookas, and my favourite, the exploding sheep. Big, big, bad. You can also customise your own worms' voices and clothes, and you can even build your own special weapon, and that's all about balancing worm damage with destruction. Uh, on the single-player side of things, the Worms 3D campaign from the 2003 game is the most fun and has a good variety of levels, and you can choose to play any chapter you like. But there is a story mode too, which starts off by letting you blow up a diner, for which some reason has been stacked with TNT. That didn't last long in the story mode, guys. Oh, nuts. I can see how they've tried to make it fun by giving you different objectives like collecting tools or teaching you about all the different gadgets like the parachute, but the pace of it all is really slow. Yeah, multiplayer is still the most fun. And there are a few different modes, but I definitely recommend Deathmatch. There's just something about playing against a human opponent that really brings this game to life. Although I found once there was a stationary machine gun into the mix, just it was too powerful and it would kill you before you even got a chance to move. Overpowered. Yeah, definitely, Darren. When one weapon has too much power in a game, it can totally ruin the fun. Mm. Like my super mega lasers. What's a super mega laser? Oh, it's like my normal laser, but it shoots rainbows. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can we see it? Negative. It's only for special occasions. Oh. Well, you know what, call me old school, but I like the 2D versions of Worms much better. I know this is a compilation of old games, but that destruction was just so lacklustre, so I'm gonna give it four out of 10 rubber chickens. Yeah, it's not an expensive game, and while I think the 3D imagining would have been great for its time, it all just feels a bit, it's a bit too clumsy for me now, so I'm giving it four as well. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna go read the news. Huh. Go on, Darren, show us your rainbow laser. Oh, all right. Oh, that's quite relaxing. Always I want to be with you and make believe with you and live in harmony, harmony, always.